What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel. It has been a hot minute since I've recorded a video, but today I have a few things that I wanted to try on camera for you. I was asked to do some collabs with two different brands. They're really small brands, probably brands that most of you haven't really heard of before, but I am really happy to bring them to let to you. The first one that reached out to me was Lunar Angel Lashes. They're rave based, I guess. Okay, so here are they. the lashes that I got. They are used already. I've already tried them. Um, these are the lashes in Aurora is the style name for these. I've already been wearing them a few times for a few different looks that have been on Instagram. Uh, so check out my Instagram to see them. And so far, I already love them. They're super cute and they have been really easy to apply. I've been trying to do better with false lashes and it has been a struggle, but I'm getting there. Then the other brand that reached out to me was Mellow Cosmetics and I got a few things from their website. They have more like cosmetic products. So I got a little brow pomade from them. It's in a really cute little jar plastic but it's really cute it's bougie looking I got the shade taupe that should be good for my brow color because I have like light brown hair but it's really ashy so yeah and then I got a blush in peach which is really cute there's that there's the print on that I got a precision pen liner this is a felt tip which I'm not really huge on felt tips, but I did try this once already and I did like it, so... Sometimes, you know, I'm okay with felt tips. And then I got the Matte Liquid Lip Paint. I was trying to figure out if this is transfer proof or not. My verdict so far, I haven't tried it yet, but my verdict so far is that it is probably not transfer proof, but it is supposed to be long lasting. So I'm just going to put some of these things on my face and give you a little review on them. Mellow Cosmetics did give me uh, like an affiliate code kind of thing. There will be a link down in the description box that if you use that link, I earn 15%. That would be a wonderful reward for me and I would be so appreciative, you don't even know. <laughs> so anyways, let's uh, jump into trying these products. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the blush. I got the shade Peach from Mellow Cosmetics. And I just use a stippling brush because I am too pasty that if I put a lot on, it looks like I'm sunburned. This has a nice pigmentation level. It is not like super pigmented where it's going to like deposit a ton of color right away. It's really like diffusible. I like it. Now, I'm not going to be able to tell you if this is long lasting or not because I do have to go to work this afternoon and I cannot wear makeup at work. It makes my face really itchy and I will scratch all of it off and touch my face a lot, which is not a good thing in the lab that I work in. I work with untested blood, therefore I do not want to be touching my face at work at all. But okay, I got a little little tiny wash of color. Um, just I just went in with a really light hand. I wasn't going for any more color than I have on my face, but it was really easy to apply the amount of color that I have on my face. So on to the next thing, I'm gonna do my brows next. So using my little brow pomade from Mellow Cosmetics and my Morphe brow brush, I'm just gonna do my brows. I haven't used brow pomade in a long time. I usually stick to pencils.
Okay, one eyebrow. I'm probably still gonna do a little bit more work on this though. Okay, for this first eyebrow, it's looking cute. And it's actually just looking like my brow, but better. It's not like, it is. this is like exactly the same shade as my eyebrows already. So this is a perfect shade for me. Now the only thing is that I would say about this is that I would use a darker shade if you're trying to like imitate hairs in a spot where you're like missing some hairs. Like I have a chunk like right up here where when I was dermaplaning my face my razor slipped and cut that chunk of my eyebrow out. Um, it was a fun time. <laughs> and so it was creating that nice like shadow of brow there. But I needed something. I need something a little bit darker to actually imitate the hairs. I'm not going to go in with anything because I want to show off what this brow pomade does on its own. Which I, it is like a perfect shade for just filling my brows in, not for making. Or I would use something darker for making brows where brows don't exist, but for my shade of hair, anyways. However, it is a perfect shade for filling. Okay, I'm not really going to do a whole eyeshadow look today. I'm just going to go in with my Mellow Cosmetics Precision Pen Liner. Just going to do some winged liner, throw, throw my lashes on, and call it a, and well, my lip too, and then call it a day. I don't have any highlighter on though, that's fine. So I'm going to shake it up. And this is how the tip of that looks. I, I mean, I, I like it. It's got that tip, but it's also... A little bit like fatter so that you can draw thicker lines but the tip is really nice for drawing like precise lines you know what I mean okay my camera battery's gonna die in a minute now Okay, here are my wings. I'm just going to put on a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use my Smashbox Super Fan mascara. Okay, I'm going to put the liquid lip paint on my bare lips first. Oh, I should mention the shade I got. I got the shade London. You know, I really didn't think about whether my lip shade was going to match my shirt when I put the shirt on. So I uh, don't mind the clashing shades here. I'm going to let this dry down while I put my lashes on. Um, it is supposed to be like a velvety matte. And in my experience, velvety matte means that it's not really going to be transfer proof because it doesn't dry down all the way. It's supposed to be like more comfortable. So I'm just going to put on my lashes. I'm going to be using my Tartist Pro Lash Glue. I'm trying to use up what I have left of this before I move on to my Sephora House of Lashes Lash Glue. Okay, so here's my final look with my lashes. And so all the products that I used that I'm reviewing with this video are um, the blush first, then I did my brows with the brow pomade, I did my eyeliner with the precision pen liner, and then my lipstick, and my lashes. And So my camera died, so bear with me and my shaky video. The lipstick is actually transfer proof. I mean, there might be a little bit, there's like a, a single line on the very bottom of my finger, but otherwise it is pretty transfer proof. I like it. I don't know what it's going to last through yet. I'm not going to be keeping this on all day, so you'll have to stay tuned for another review. So yeah, if you like my reviews, be sure to click up here to see another review and then down there 
to subscribe to me before you go. Thank you so much for watching, and again, be sure to just subscribe to me before you go. Love you all. See you in my next video.